Uh, the nation's unemployment rate climbs higher, hitting 9.8% in November. The jobless rate now above 9% for 19 straight months, the longest stretch in U.S. history. So the weak jobs report setting back hopes for millions who remain out of work. Joining us now, Rich DeSalvo is the author of The Power of Pain. He's also CEO of Rich DeSalvo Consulting. And Rich, without a doubt, there are a lot of American people, and I know pun on your book here, but they are experiencing and know firsthand the power of pain. 9.8% <laughs> unemployment, 39,000 jobs. What is the deal? Well, the deal is this, that, uh, look, the economy, here's this. Will the economy ever recover? Of course it's going to. But it's just not, may not be on people's timeline. I think it's going to take right now, the way it's going, Kelly, another seven to ten years before we really see recovery. And right now, for us to see um, any kind of real movement, we need to see 300,000, Kelly, 300,000 jobs a month. For wait, the next wait, 60 wait, Rich, months. you said another seven to ten years? That's right. Do you know that... You've just caused people's hearts to palpitate even faster. Well, uh, well, I, I'm not being I'm not being no, facetious here. No. It's really tough out there for a lot of Americans. It, it is, but the point is, the first thing we have to do, Kelly, is look. We're, we're professionals. We're big. We're adults here. We're good quality people. We have to recognize the fact first. The question is, what are we going to do about it? Mm -hmm. And I think there are things we can absolutely do as a as a country and as a as an American. There's things we can do. Why, why can't our Congress pass uh, tax breaks to companies to help create more jobs? No, and, and that's a good question, and it's a question we've been asking members of Congress as well, and we've just seen what they did on Capitol Hill today, and uh, the American people are sitting at home, not twiddling their thumbs, but trying to figure out, look, what's, what's the deal here? But while we're talking about Congress, let's not forget the private sector either, Rich. What's the private sector doing to get more people gainfully employed? Well, it's interesting. You know, it, you understand something that a co companies, employers themselves right now, and this is why you see the stock market going up right now, they're running their companies well. They're not, um, they're not uh, hiring people. They're using temps and they're using overtime. I mean, and what that does is create profitability for the firm. The stock market likes that, and that's why you see the Dow doing what it's doing right now. It's a bizarre combination of events going on right now. Kelly. You know, I don't want to bring up an, an old uh, sore in the, in the hearts of many people, but there were such things called stimulus money that went out mm. to a lot of these companies to keep them afloat. Uh, and yet we're not seeing the jobs come to fruition. Uh, so a lot of American people, as we go into this Christmas season, 39,000 jobs, that's all they can have for, and a 9.8 uh, unemployment rate, they're, they're shaking their heads and scratching their heads saying, what is the deal? Why can't we get over this threshold? Is this a jobless recovery that we're experiencing? No, it's not a jobless recover recovery. Let me say this, though. If you allow it to be, it will be. And here's what I mean by that is, right, there's a funny, acute say, statement I'll tell, tell you, and that is that a... Um, a unemployed accountant is not an accountant. He or she is a statistic. Now, I'll tell you, Kelly, personally, I had back issues. I had four spine surgeries in three years. I had to change my life. Yeah. I wrote a book. I spent time with you. People have to understand that you're a smart person. You're a good person. It doesn't mean that if you're no longer an accountant, it doesn't make you any less smart. Maybe they have to retrain themselves. Retrain themselves. Uh, perhaps take a job that is... Uh uh, menial compared to what they were doing and, and to make ends meet. Uh, is that something you're suggesting as well? Well, let me, well, yes, but not, yes, but no. What I mean by that is right now, if you need to be, un, un, I'm going to call it underemployed, then go do that. However, that doesn't change the fact that you're a smart person, you went to college or did the things you did to get through school or whatever it was, and maybe you have to spend some dollars. Maybe the, the country, instead of give, extending tax um, unemployment uh -huh. benefits, right, instead of extending it, why not just give dollars to help them go retrain and learn something else that's in that one of their other passions in life? I like your thinking, Rich. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I hope uh, that some people on Capitol are listening. I hope so. All right, Rich DeSalvo. All right, Kelly. Thank you. You got it.